So the question is, you know, how do we identify a minimum 50% increase in volume from one bar to the next? So let's look back over here. So if we take, you know, if we if we're comparing this volume to the previous volume back, you know, we want to identify, right? <clears throat> if the current bar has you know, increase the volume by 50% of the previous bar or more. <clears throat> and so the way we can, so first of all, you have to take the previous bar and calculate its 50% increase, right? Or in other words, that's 150%, right? So we want the previous bar and then calculate its 150% value. Right, and we can use chameleon to do that. So we can see I already have on the chart, I already have chameleon on here. And so this white um, hash mark there where my cursor's at, right, that is taking the previous bar's volume and increasing that volume by 50%. And then I just displaced it forward, right, forward onto the next bar by one. I did a displacement by one. So let's open up the indicator window and take a look again. Yeah. So down here are chameleon, right? We have the input series set to volume. And then the scale is, right, we want to take the volume and, and increase it by 50%. So that's 150%. Right, so 1.5. And then as I mentioned, I displace it by one, right? That way the the plot actually sits on top of the bar. So for visually, you know, visually looking at it, you know, it's a little easier to, to visualize there. And of course, I change the panel. So chameleon is on panel two where the volume's at. So and I probably should just turn off, there we go. Turn off the high bounds, All right? So what we wanna look at is the close, the closing plot. So, right, so when you when you feed an indicator into Chameleon, right, that, that indicator is gonna come out of the closing plot. All right, so that's how we set this up on the chart, so. Um, set the scaling value to whatever percentage increase you're looking for. So here's 150%, 1.5, set the input series, then set chameleon on, you know, on the correct panel, and then displace it by one, and then turn on the close SMA plot there. All right. And that's how we get, that's how we get this look here. So again, the key thing to remember with when you when you go into Bloodhound is to remember the displacement here. So, all right. So looking at it again here. So if we look at this bar, right, increasing the volume of this, you know, puts the volume up here, and then we can see the hash line, right is one bar over where my cursor's at. So now we can just simply, so now we're gonna compare, right, the volume of the current bar to chameleon down here, right? And make sure that the volume is greater. And that way we know that we've had at least a 50% increase in the volume. So, right, same thing over here. Um, on this bar to the right. All right, so let's open up Bloodhound. And let's go to our logic tab and let me make a new logic here. All right, so we're looking for a 50% volume increase. So we're going to grab a comparison solver. So we're gonna go to the default time frame. So remember one of my other questions used a one minute time frame. 
So now we have to go to the default time frame and grab a comparison solver. Let's connect that in. There we go. Okay, so now that we have our comparison solver named here, let's see. All right, so input A, well, that's going to be the volume, right? Um, the volume of the current bar. And we actually have a volume input type. So we can just set the type to volume, you know, but you could also you know, keep it on indicator value and just find the volume indicator if you wanted. Uh, you know, it's all the same. So, all right, so volume is input A, and then input B is chameleon, you know, set up the same way that we set it up on the chart. All right, so let's go input B. And let's go into shark indicators, go into tools and pull up chameleon and then chameleon we need to go through all the settings here um, and set things up so the scale value we, we want that at 1.5 right and and that's all we adjusted there uh, for the parameters of chameleon and we do need to select the close plot so let's select that. There we go. And so now we need to feed the volume into Chameleon. So, all right, so I have Chameleon highlighted here. And then I'm going to scroll down to the volume indicator. And just a single click, select the volume, and then hit the nested input. There we go. So now we have the volume indicator being fed into chameleon, right? Which is what we did on the chart there. So, okay, we can click okay. And as I reminded you earlier, we do need to set that displacement to one. So, right, because remember chameleon is what chameleon needs to take the volume of the previous bar, right, and multiply it by 1.5, and then you need to shift that value forward onto the current bar, you know, where the where the current volume is, right? Because remember, we're comparing the current volume to the previous volume for that 50% increase. So we need that displacement set to one there. And then also adjust our outputs here, like so. All right, because the increase in volume is non-directional. So you're going to want a long and a short output at the same time there. So there we have it. And so now we can see on the chart. Yeah, so every volume bar where the volume is greater than the white hash line, right? That is what's going to be marked by the Bloodhound Racing Stripes. So there we have it. Pretty straightforward there.